Today I'm going to be making this uh, Sam's Choice Caramel Blondie Mix. Um, we bought these at Walmart, of course, because it's the Sam's Choice for $1.98. And what you need is you need a box mix, a third of a cup of water, a third of a cup of oil, some kind of vegetable oil, and a, one one egg, basically. And you need a nine by nine pan. These are eight by eight, but they're they're fine. They're just mixing them a little thicker. Um, we just sprayed them with cooking spray to. to uh, so they won't stick. You want to preheat your oven to 350. So that is going right now. And you get a package of the dry mix and you get a caramel pack. So what you want to do is put your dry mix in the bowl. And you're basically just going to mix everything together. Nothing fancy. Water. Oil. And egg. And it's almost done. Let's make sure it's all mixed in. It wasn't too bad. I mean, uh, no mixers needed, that's for sure. You can just use a spoon. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and spread it into my pan. Pretty evenly spread. So, what I want to do now is cut just a quarter of an, uh, of an inch. I've always said this, I wish they'd put a little dotted liner, but I guess they'd have to line them up if they did that, but a quarter of an inch is not very big. And you're going to just um, basically drizzle this over the top. And this is going to bake in the oven for um, 35 to 40 minutes. We'll probably put it in for 35 just to see where it's at. Um, but you stick a toothpick in two inches from the side of the pan until it comes out clean. That's when you know it's done. All right, we've already cut the pieces that we're going to review, but this is what they look like out of the oven in the pan. Um, Tammy cut them. You can see ba basically this is a serving. Um, very, very tiny little servings. Little squares right there. Okay, we have the brownies, and I cut them up, and I went to cut them up, and I looked at the serving size, and it said that this serves 20, and Kevin said, there's no way you're going to get 20 pieces out of that. It's ridiculous. But I did. Uh, we made sure we got 20 pieces, and they're teeny, tiny little squares, and... It's about three bites. 160 calories. You might be able to get four if you're really, really, really tiny little bites. They're very, very... Um, Sticky. And it smells wonderful. I love the flavor of the caramel. Oh, I do like that. Now I got an inside piece. How crusty is that? I got an edge piece. Do you want to try part of my edge? No, you just tell me. Okay, good. I love it. I think it's delicious. It's good, but you're, I'm really fighting to get four bites out of it. You really taste the caramel flavor. Um, it's, I think it's a really rich dessert for 160 calories. Yeah. I don't think a normal person would cut them that small. No. I mean, we would probably get one three times as big. No. Uh, at least twice as big. I'd yeah. at least get, um, what, three and three. Nine. We'd probably cut it nine. We would cut it nine. <laughs> yeah, nine instead of twenty. Exactly. Yeah, it's quite a bit different, but still, I, yeah. it would almost be twice as much. So. Well, because we made the Sam's Choice apple mm -hmm. apple bars, and those had uh, the serving size was nine, mm -hmm. and that was a, a nice square. Yeah, it was a good size square. Um, Whereas this is just like a little bite size. But I have to say, it's delicious. It's got lots it's, of flavor. Kind yeah. Of and and it's real super easy to make too. So Yeah, if you like caramel, then I would recommend getting this because mm -hmm. it's it's very cheap, a dollar ninety eight, and you only have to add an egg and oil and water. Everybody usually has those ingredients on hand. Uh, so I think this is mm -hmm. really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.